Hey, I'm posting a good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoyed the content, as always, please continue to subscribe up above or down below on the easy to use subscribe button. But let's get right into it as we talk about Brandon Brooks, our three time Pro Bowl or Super Bowl champion that came here in 2016 and played all the way through last season. Unfortunately, only played two games last season due to injury. Um, his greatest seasons were here. It's great to be able to say, which we don't always get to say enough about Philadelphia teams, that they made this man into the greatest player he was in his greatest season were here, and that is in no small part <coughs> due to the fact that we have Scotland, one <coughs> of the better, excuse me, line coaches in the entire game. So that plays a big part in Brandon Brooks success, I think, once he came here. Not that he was a bear player in Houston by any stretch of the imagination. He played 14, 15 games a season and played well, but he took it to a different level when he was with the Philadelphia Eagles and likely for winning them, <clears throat> being part of that Super Bowl team, but also just being a pro bowler and should have been an all-pro um, in his years here. He is going to go in the Eagles Hall of Fame and deservingly so. Brandon Brooks was one of the more dominant guards I've had the pleasure of watching for the Philadelphia Eagles in my lifetime. I'm not talking about longevity-wise. There's been more longevity players, obviously, at the guard position. But in terms of just the three-year period he had from 17 through 19, uh, he was absolutely ridiculous. One of the best guards in the league. It's going to be sad to see him go. But the thing that's great about Brandon Brooks, too, is he stretched past the football field tenfold. He was one of the first people to come out about his mental health stuff and really help millions of other people. So that was great to see him have so many causes that he supports that are great for, and, and it's great to see him be able to come out and share his experiences to help out other people, and that's exactly what he did. Um, and he was great in the locker room from everything Dave Zagaro, the uh, Ruben Franks, and everybody of the world say he was great off the field. He's great on the field, one of the better Eagles guards, one of the best, honestly, that I've got to watch in my lifetime, and I wish him all the best in his next endeavors in retirement. It seems like he wants to go to business, uh, get, get um, he wants to invest and be in different things in that nature, maybe go back to school, but whatever he wants to get into, he's still young, very um, intelligent dude, so I wish him the best in his next endeavors. This has been a short video on our three-time Pro Bowl, or should have been an All-Pro um, in some of these seasons, and one-time Super Bowl champion, uh, Brandon Brooks, uh, retiring for our Philadelphia Eagles. Will Jason Kelsey soon follow, or will he be the only guy to retire, and everybody else will be coming back next season. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the latest Philadelphia Eagles video as we ch checked in on Brandon Brooks and his retirement and gave him a shout-out for a hell of a career he had. Also in Houston, was a heck of a lineman, but became the GOAT lineman, a three-time Pro Bowl, should have been an All-Pro in one of those seasons here in Philadelphia, where they made him into his best self, and unfortunately had to go out in a year that he only had two games because of injury. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out, and future Hall of Famer in terms of Eagles Hall of Fame, Brandon Brooks, has announced his retirement. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget.